and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to a crucial weekend in the title race as every single weekend now promises to carry some real significance. There is seven games to go in the title race, there's 21 points to play for and as Barca here travel to Villarreal, we know this on paper, aside from our game against Atletico, is our biggest remaining test and it's a test that we simply have to come through on Sunday at 4.15 p.m. local time, we head to La Ceramica and we need all three points. Let's get to it. Because as Koeman said in his post-match press conference, we have seven games left this season and the aim is to win every single one of those games. He said every team is going to try and do that and if you fail to win, you will have less chances to fight for the league. It's going to be intense. It's going to be a fight right up until the final game week. And as you can see right here, guys, there's been plenty of talk about the Super League, but this has the potential to be a super weekend in the title race. You've got Real Madrid taking on high-flying Real Betis there on the Saturday. Manuel Pellegrini will return to face the side that he did once coach, and that is going to be a difficult game for Real Madrid. Then you've got Villarreal and Barcelona before later on the Sunday, Sevilla, who are in this title race, They'll host Granada and Atletico Madrid. The league leaders will travel to the new San Mames to face Athletic Club in a bumper weekend in this race. Because when you look here at the La Liga table, you can see that it is getting very, very tight at the top. And with very few games left to go, any mistakes now, they are going to be absolutely crucial. And certainly there, Atletico Madrid still leading the pack. Then Real Madrid. Barca, of course, one game behind from the rest. And Sevilla, I've got to say, they come from nowhere. They've been steadily going under the radar this season. And they do keep finding results. And as you can see there, our opponents in this game, Villarreal, they are in 7th, but just a single point away from 5th place. And I do have to say, first of all guys, when you're talking there about our opponents this weekend, Villarreal, they have had a very, very strong season under Unai Emery. Of course, they're also going really strong in the Europa League. They're actually going to play their semi-final clash on Thursday next week against Arsenal in a reunion there with Unai Emery's former club. And I do just wonder, given the fact that he loves that competition, given the fact there that they have a real chance there, they can go and win that competition, but will they have one eye on that game when they come up against us on Sunday. And of course, speaking there of Unai Emery, like I say, has done a solid job at Villarreal. I do want to mention his record against Barcelona because of all the big teams in Spain, he spent a lot of his career, of course, in La Liga. But Barca is the team that he's always struggled to get a result against. He's won just twice in 26 attempts over the years. And we'll be hoping that in this game, that does not change. One man, though, who Villarreal will be looking to count on, and one player that we have to keep such a close eye on there, it's got to be Gerard Moreno. This season in La Liga, he has been one of the standout players by a long, long way. 20 goals he scored in La Liga this season, overperforming there his expected goals. And I would also like to point out, he scored 41% of Villarreal's total goals. That is a huge percentage there, all on the shoulders of one player. And of course, let's not forget as well, his strike partner, his partner in crime there, there up front, it's Paco Alcacer, and he'll be looking, I'm sure, to be out to prove a point against Barca. But fear not, we have players coming into this game who can decide these kind of matches, and we have been finding our form certainly over the past few games. We had the disappointment of El Clasico, we then bounced back, didn't we, in that Copa del Rey final, and then indeed against Atafe. It wasn't pretty, but we did find a way to win the game. And I've got to mention Messi because he has just been, over these past few months, really in the year of 2021, he's just been on fire. Every single game, providing the big numbers, providing the big moments, he's leading again the Pachichi race by a country mile really, over Benzema, and certainly here. Messi, again, against a team that he likes playing. We've had some unbelievable meetings against Villarreal in previous games, and I think looking at those results there, what you can expect is goals. We've had late winners, we've had late equalisers, we've had really good tussles there between the two teams, and of course we've had one-sided games too. You look at our reverse fixture, Ronald Koeman's first game as the coach, it was a brilliant game, really, really impressive, and we'll be hoping here to replicate all of that quality and get this win. 
And as we move on here to the team selection, let's first of all take a look at the official squad here that have been selected by Ronald Koeman to head to Villarreal this weekend. And you will notice there the big standout name and the big player returning for Barcelona. It is Ousmane Dembele who is ready to play this game. He trained fine today. No problems at all for him. But Miralem Pjanic there does miss out with injury. And on Dembele in his pre-match press conference, Ronald Koeman there confirming that Dembele is ready if needed. He can play from the Stark Koeman said, and what he also said was that Dembele gives us that something different. He's such an important player. He can play from either side, and of course he's got that ability one-on-one, -on -one. and Koeman, like I say, definitely thinking, I feel, about bringing Dembele back in here. But I also want to draw your attention here, again, looking back to that game again to Taffe, because as we said yesterday, Koeman had a bit of a difficult game himself. You know, he subbed off four of his five defenders who started that game. It wasn't really the concrete backline that we were hoping for. It wasn't really the solid display that we were looking for. But what I also want to say is in today's press conference, Koeman said it wasn't a problem against Hitafe of attitude. He said it was a tactical problem. He said it was a tactical problem there when we had the ball. And he said when we changed to a back four, Hitafe could press us so much more easily there from the front. He said, but when we switched back to three defenders, when Antiti came on, we really, really did improve. And that's interesting because Koeman really, is he being self-critical? Is he saying there, you know what? It was on me because he was changing around the system. He was making lots of different subs, trying to sort of change things around. It didn't really work out, but Koeman there appearing to hold his hands up, and I think certainly now for the rest of the season, we're going to see three at the back. I don't think Koeman is going to be messing around anymore. They're reverting to that four. We are going to see that solid base, the two wing backs. but the question will be, who gets the nod in this game. Because obviously, yes, it is going to be Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. And yes, PK, although he went off at halftime, I do expect him to start this game. And I would expect as well Clement Longley to come back, even though he was subbed off. I think that was mainly because of the yellow card that he had. I also expect, of course, Jordi Alba to start at left back. But then there's the decision that Koeman has to make. Does he keep Mingetha in that back line? And I personally, I think he's got to. I think it would be really, really harsh on Mingetha to actually exclude him here. He made sort of one error or whatever it was that Koeman wasn't really happy with but other than that this season he's been really good really consistent I would keep him in this team but I would make a change at right back with Serginho Dest there replacing Sergio Roberto who was not good against Etafe Dest must come back in. Into midfield, of course we know that it's going to be Sergio Busquets and Frank de Jong, two players that in recent weeks have been absolutely fantastic there. Busquets really emerging again in terms of his form and playing some stunning passes he has done over these past weeks now, particularly when it comes to Lionel Messi. But the big question again is when it comes to Pedri and that third man, if we play a three-man midfield, is Pedri going to finally get some rest in this game? We've spoken about it for many, many weeks now. We really do believe that Pedri does need some time out, and if he does, who comes in? Is it going to be Ricky Pooch? It seems unlikely when you're talking there about Ronald Koeman, or is it going to be Elash Mariba? Those are the two there that he would have to choose from, or for me, what is most likely is that we go there with a two in midfield, with Busquets and De Jong, and providing he's fit and ready, which Koeman says he is, Usman Dembele could return to the front three with Messi and Griezmann. Alongside him, what do you make there if that was to be the team? But finally, guys, just before we do indeed come to an end, the one part that we do always look at is the predictions. And in terms of your thoughts coming into this one, you are confident of a win, but by two goals there. You're not quite going as far to say it's going to be three plus, but a two goal, very solid win that it would be. And I think coming into this game, we would accept anything that comes our way in terms of getting those three points. This is definitely one of our toughest remaining fixtures. We've got to come into it. We've got to get the job done. I am going to go here, same as you, a win by a margin of two goals. Villarreal won, Barca delivering three in what would be a big, big boost to our title hopes. Let me know your predictions. Let me know who your starting lineup would be ahead of such a big, big clash. And let's hope this weekend we can continue to make those strides towards the title. I'll see you on Sunday, guys, after the big match. But until next time. As always, Vishka El Barca. Oh.